Okay, so I was listening to the MacBreak Weekly podcast the other day, and they were talking about a program on the iPad that allows you to run Windows 3.1, and the program is called iDOS. It also works on the iPhone. You can see I've got a DOS prompt on my iPhone XS. This is an iPad Pro 10.5 inch, so a few years old now, and this is the M1 MacBook Air, which also supports iDOS as well. So let's have a look at the phone first of all, and I'll show you how it works. Okay, so it's obviously a very tiny screen on a phone, but I've got a few different ways I can change that. Uh, but if I just want to check if there's anything on there at the moment, so type DIR and hit return. As you can see, there's no games on there. There's nothing that's installed at the moment. So let's put some games on there. So if we come out of that and we go to this folder, uh, and what we need is, uh, if I go back one, so where it says on my iPhone, tap on that, and you can see there's an iDOS folder. Tap on that and press and hold anywhere on the screen and create a new folder and we're going to call that games and done so now what we've got to do is navigate to uh, a game you could download a game on your phone uh, but you also need to unzip it for it to work with this system but i've already got some on my nas drive my network attached storage uh, so if i go into that and uh, find in my gaming folder and roms there's a dos folder now the game I'm going to use for this is Commander Keen 4, which is the one that says Keen 4. So select and tap on that. Then press the folder bottom middle of the screen and that will bring up this option. Uh, and you can see it's already highlighted on iDOS. If it isn't, you just need to navigate by tapping on, on my iPhone and then it will open up these folders. So you can see I've got games, so I'm going to tap on that and I'm going to hit copy. And that's going to copy that Keen 4 folder to games. So remember what happened before, we didn't have anything. If I type in DIR now, I've got more options. I've got a games folder. So let's check inside that games folder. So CD games and then DIR. So now you can see there's a folder called Keen 4. So CD Keen 4 and return. And then we need to find the EXE file to launch the game. So I'm going to type DIR and return and then the exe in this case is keen 4e so if i type in keen 4e and hit return you can see that it launches the game uh, and if we want we can switch to landscape and if we want the keyboard you'll notice that bit at the top disappears just tap the top of the screen tap the keyboard and you can see you've got an on-screen keyboard so if i just press space that will take us onto the next screen. If you want to get rid of that keyboard so you want to see what's going on, tap at the top of the screen and tap the keyboard. And here you can see new game menu. But uh, rather than play it on the phone with touch screen, which we can do, uh, so I can put a joypad on the screen, a joystick, a keypad, and obviously we saw the keyboard earlier on. Uh, I'm going to plug in a mouse and keyboard and also I'm going to plug it into my monitor so you can see it a bit better. So let's plug in a official HDMI adapter for iPhone. I'll put a link in the description for that. And also let's plug this into the power. You don't need to plug it into the power, but it means that the phone's not going to need any, lose any charge. Um, so if I now grab an HDMI cable and plug that into here and move up, there you go. So uh, actually I'm not going to plug a keyboard into my phone. Uh, I haven't got a Bluetooth keyboard handy, but I have got the keyboard on my iPad. But you can see the game has started up. Uh, and if I call up something like the joypad, uh, I can move around with the controls. But there's much better ways of doing it than that. So let's switch over to the iPad. So let's pop this into here. And you can hear the audio there. and launch the app. I think I've got this on here already. So now I'm using the keyboard that's with the iPad here. So you can see here, uh, but pretty much any Bluetooth keyboard works. I can also use a mouse as well, although it depends on what you're using it for, but you should be able to just about see a mouse pointer comes up there. In fact, if I go to the home, I can move a mouse pointer around. But let's go back into iDOS and type in DIR and I've got loads of games in this folder. So let's switch back into screen capture on the iPad. Okay, so let's try it across. So CD across, 
DIR, and you can see here across EXE at the top, across. This is, I think, the prequel to Elastomania, which is a brilliant game, but that only works on Windows. Uh, but I might look at installing Windows 95 or 3.1 on this, uh, probably more likely 95 because that's more my era, uh, 3.1 I'm not familiar with. So I'm using the keyboard, the, um, the proper Apple keyboard that you can get for this iPad, but you can see, uh, well, this looks like a very slow game, but actually this is, this is how it plays and you can spin around and stuff, um, but it's, it's perfect, the sound is perfect, the speed is perfect and uh, it's just how this game is and this I spent hours playing well Lastomania the the uh, sequel to this but it is excellent right so if I want to quit out of that uh, I don't have an escape key on this keyboard there might be another way of doing it so if I press the top of the screen uh, and press the joypad and then I've got an escape see here bottom right or near bottom right so escape and I can keep quitting out do you want to quit yes so I'm back and now I can do uh, if I want to go back, because I'm in the across folder at the moment, if I do cd space dot dot and enter, you can see that brings me back to C, D, I, R. And let's try Big Red Racing. Let's just get rid of those joypad controls because they can be a bit annoying if you don't need them. Uh, so cd big red. And if I do D, I, R, it's got too much in here. So the exe file I want has already gone past. So if I go dir dot forward slash p and press return it does it page by page so if you're looking for a particular file uh, it shows it there is a command to show just the exes and i always forget it someone's told me in previous videos uh, so the one i want is not on this screen so let's go to the next screen and it's not on that screen either so let's go to the next screen yeah racing is the one you can see it near the top there so type in racing and hit return and here we'll see that the mouse comes in handy here. So this is mouse control, so I can do single player race. Now, the, the audio is more basic on this. There is a way uh, on the site for IDOS to install better audio drivers, but I've just kept it as the standard ones. Uh, it gives you in-game uh, sounds, but there was lots of speech in the intros of this. Uh, so let's just hit OK and OK. You can hear some of the sound is working and race and now I'm using the keyboard and I, I really like the handling on this game and it's nice and fast on this you can see that it's, it's not sluggish at all it's, it's how it's meant to be but it is oh, I'm going to overshoot the corner but yeah really impressed with, with how well that runs I haven't tried at different resolutions or anything like that but at stock it's it's pretty decent oh overshot that so let's quit out of that and again I'm going to top the, touch the top of the screen press the joypad and hit escape and that's going to take me back and I think if I keep pressing escape a lot of DOS games yeah if you keep pressing escape they go back uh, so CD space dot dot what else have we got on here everybody knows Doom CD Doom DIR, uh, so Doom to launch, there we go, so the sound is working well on this, I can get rid of that joypad because I've got a keyboard, now the mouse wasn't working on this, I don't know why the mouse wasn't working, um, there's probably something I need to do in configuration, so some games it does work, some games it doesn't, uh, what's fire, that would be a good, oh controls fire, there you go, but you can see speed wise it works pretty decent, and the audio sounds fine. So Ford S6, this is another one where it uh, has a lot of files in there. Uh, so if I go dir dot forward slash p, that will do it page by page. And you can see there's an arcade option in there. Let's try arcade. Maybe it has, um... oh no, okay, so Ford. And this was one of the first games that I tried on it, and I thought it was going to be really slow because this menu is just shockingly slow. Uh, it's really, really bad at uh, updating itself, but the game is fine. Well, I say fine, fine for its time. You can pick your car, you can paint it. You, there's even uh, on here, there's ways of buying the car. Obviously, it's going to be out of date now, um, but it would link you 
to be able to buy the car, link you to a garage and stuff like that. But if I just click on drive it, so let's go advanced. Do you want sound? Yes. So we go for a Mustang and, uh, oh, I can't remember the keys. Oh yeah, so accelerate, brake, space bar is shift. Okay, so nice and easy. <laughs> like I say, it hasn't aged that well and it's the frame rate is shocking. But you've actually got to stop at the garage uh, and the collision detection is terrible. Uh, it will tell me in a minute there's a, a garage a mile away. There you go. Gas, maps and food one mile. <laughs> nice pop up with the truck. Oh, I'm not... I can change gear, can't I? I wasn't changing gear. Right, I have changed gear now. That's what was making that horrific noise. Let's see how fast we can get without crashing. 50, 70, oh, look, curve ahead. <laughs> the squealing is great. 80 miles an hour, 90 miles an hour. What do you think the crash is going to look like if we crash? Good handling for a Mustang, isn't it? <laughs> Such a good time. Here we go. Oh, straight through. Okay. Maybe Ford didn't want their, their cars to get beaten up. Crunch. Brilliant. Right, so let's quit out of that. So you, so you can see I couldn't change to the directory ping pong. Uh, because uh, it's just an exe file. Uh, it seemed to be just one exe file. I don't know if this will work. Oh no, so when, so in some cases, look, it says it needs to be run under Windows. So the last one I'll show is the this one here, Top Hat Willy PC 10 DIR, and we launch it with THW. And this is like, Jet Set Willy on the Spectrum, and I can't remember where I downloaded this from, but um, but it looks pretty decent actually. Is that something I can? Yeah, so I can pick that up, look. And it runs at quite a nice speed, but it looks a lot better than Jet Set Willy did, all the colors and everything like that. And the same works on my M1 Mac, although I haven't worked out quite where to put all the folders and everything yet. It doesn't do the same things it does for iPad and iPhone, uh, but as you can see, the mouse and keyboard and everything works fine. Uh, it, uh, yeah, it's really nice to see. So I think I'm probably gonna try and install uh, Windows 95 on it and see how that goes, but uh, if, I'm, if I'm successful with it, I'll do another video. Anyway, I hope all this helps. Thanks very much for watching. Please like and subscribe.